Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. There's trouble in paradise as William Samoe Ruto is facing a candle of rejection after his yesterday's statement while in Nyandarua County. Bibuna Miguna is coming out to reveal a very shocking uh, details as he is seeing that he endorsed the election of William Ruto. He did not endorse his government and he supported his candidature in 2022 and he campaigned for him and according to him is coming out to say that William Ruto won election. That is according to Meguna Meguna. But he's coming out to disagree with William Ruto that the same same judiciary that he is threatening is the same same judiciary that came out protecting protecting him and also giving him his victory. Meguna is saying to William Ruto, stop threatening the judiciary. Remember that without the judiciary, you will not be the president. You can't pretend to protect the independence of the judiciary through threats. That is whatever Meguna is saying. But now, according to the Look Up TV, date 26, Meguna Meguna had interview with the, the, the Look Up TV. And this is whatever Meguna said. And he has come out to elaborate for us on whatever William Ruto is coming out to say that he's working. But for him, William Ruto has done nothing in the Republic of Kenya. Comment to endorse on your station. You've not interviewed me since the election in 2022. Mm -hmm. So that is incorrect. I don't want statements that are incorrect to be made. Okay. Uh, anyway, nobody has ever interviewed me since this government came to power. You have not interviewed me. So, so I don't think it is fair to say that. I endorsed the election of William Ruto. I supported his candidature mm -hmm. in 2022. I campaigned for him. He won. Because the main thing was to defeat Uru Kenyatta and Raidodinga, who wanted to perpetuate an imperial system, a monarchical system in the Republic of Kenya. We managed to do that. So that was a great success. Uh, regarding William Ruto's performance since he took power, he has not done greatly. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, he has not done anything substantial. Uh, number one, he needed to start where he swore uh, the oath to start. He said all the violations of the Constitution and the rule of law would be redressed, would be addressed. And he made good on it when he appointed the judges Uru Kenyatta had refused to appoint. And then he issued me with a passport that Uru Kenyatta had taken and destroyed. Mm -hmm. And the court orders had clearly stated that should be done. So that was good. But then he's stuck there. He stopped there. He's not done anything else. So, for instance, what has stopped him, like I said in my case, from just adhering? So now, when you look at Meguna Meguna, is coming out to say that William Ruto, akuna kitu yeyote amefanya, since he took over as the president of the Republic of Kenya. And that is a good statement that I wanted to hear from Miguna Miguna. Because these are the people who came out endorsing the presidency of uh, William Ruto. So for them to come out to tell us, we as Kenyans, that William Ruto so far he has done nothing that can be sub substantiated. And that is according to the statement of Miguna. And you've watched the video. Now, there's a problem here also. Martha Kome, who is the Chief Justice, and also the president of the Supreme Court is coming out to tell William Samaruto that what 
what he is telling Kenyans about the independence of the judiciary is not true. As Martha Kome is coming out to respond to Ruto's remarks on the judiciary, Martha Kome anambia William Samoy Ruto Hivi. The JSC has noted with concern that the judges and judicial officers have been subjected to public criticism and vilification for issuing court orders that are perceived to be against state programs and policies. The GSC wishes to reaffirm the independence and integrity of the judiciary as so equal and of the government and urges all judges and judicial officers to continue performing their judicial duties without fear and favor. That is whatever Martha Kome is saying. At the same time, Martha Kome is coming out to drop a bombshell. Remember, the statement that is coming from the Judicial Service Commission, led by Martha Kome, she is coming out to allege that as per what William Ruto is saying, that the judges and judicial officers have been subjected to public uh, um, corruption, which for him, any judge who is coming out to block his agenda is a corrupt judge. Any judge who is coming out to block any agenda of William Ruto, which for, 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 for Kenyans or those who came storming the, the courts, saying the process and the moves of the president is illegal, now Mata Kome is saying that she is vigilant, and of course them as, um, as the judiciary, they are so vigilant, they are watching, and truly if there is that kind of allegation that William Ruto is bringing on board, then they are going to take action seriously. They are going to take action seriously, and they are not going to... Uh, to spare, they're not going to spare anyone that is going to maintain corruption in judiciary. But at the same time, I want to address this something. William Ruto, when he took over as the president of the Republic of Kenya, Alekuja Naile Maneno Kwamba, William Uru Mege Kenyatta rather, was kind of defying the orders that was coming from courts. And for him, he was not going to defy any court orders. The question that we are asking William Ruto, immediately you took over, you reinstated the judges that Uru Kenyatta rejected. Immediately you reinstated them, you promised that you're going to respect the rulings that were going to come from the courts. Now for us, William Ruto to come out, that is going to revisit, and is not going to accept any judge, in any court, to come out and block his agenda, sabotage his agenda, that is going to face off that judge, or any person who is going to come out and storm uh, the courts. Does it mean that we are living in a country where a president wants to control everything. A president wants to control everything. So, people are coming out to see that the statement of William Ruto is not as per the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. He must give these independent institutions their right to be independent. Let him not come out and interfere with anything that entails the judiciary. His work is to support them. As you know, the judiciary is also the arm of, another arm of the government. William Ruto should not come out to interfere with executive, want to interfere with judiciary, want to interfere with legislature. As you speak, he's the one who is controlling executive. At the same time, yes, he's the head of the executive, but again, he's controlling the legislature. At the same time, he wants to control the judiciary. So William Ruto and Taku a dictator. He wants to be a dictator. That everything is about him. 
Everything is about him. And if you're not going to heed his call, then he's going to remove you. And that is why you will see my judges when you are against William Ruto, what a power transfer. You know? So William Ruto wants the judges that will favor him. As whatever he's doing is illegal. So as clouds are gathering, at the same time, the Law Society of Kenya is coming out to declare again the demonstration that they're going to storm the street because of the statement of William Ruto. You're going to see how things are going to be. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think?